some of y'all niggas, man, y'all niggas be down bad, bad as fuck, and that shit's terribly, terribly disappointing. And sometimes I, I see it on Twitter a lot. I see it on Instagram a lot. Where it's just like, ha ha, I wish I had a guy like you that wasn't you. Or some shit like that. And they just respond back with, ha ha, yeah. Or, are we going out tonight to help me find cute guys? You know it, type shit. And like, it got like crushed or some shit in the top. Or something like that. And I know some of y'all like, those are only memes, man. They're for the memes. It's not, bro. It spawned a whole fucking culture on Twitter. If you look up hashtag down bad on Twitter, you'll see what I mean. I don't think it's on Instagram because their policies are like fucking too damn strict to allow shit like that for some reason. But if you go on Twitter, man, look up hashtag down bad, you'll see some really, really terrible shit. Like, it's, 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 it's really sad to see. So, you know, I, as a, as a man... I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna help some of y'all niggas out, bro. Cause some of y'all niggas have no game. Some of y'all niggas have some of y'all niggas be getting sad because a bitch tell you no. Some of y'all niggas be fucking sad and horny for no reason, and it, it just don't be looking good. Because I used to be like that. I used to be all those things. I used to be down horrendous in high school. But you know, I did some shit. You know, to get my to build myself up, and now I'm at the place where I am today, where I'm just a confident ass little nigga. Even though I can be a little ugly from time to time, I'm the best looking ugly nigga out here. So let me let me get started, bro, because I already recorded this video twice, and it was all scripted. It had bullet points and shit in that bitch. But you know, this one's gonna be from the heart, bro, because I I can't do no script video like that from the heart, because I ended up repeating some points a couple times, because you know. It all goes into one thing. So let's talk about having realistic expectations for these women, bro. Because sometimes y'all niggas, man, y'all niggas do not know what y'all want in a woman. And y'all end up building this unrealistic ass bitch in y'all head where she got big titties, fat ass, a cute face. She cook, she clean, she do all this. She don't disagree with you. Y'all agree on everything. She'll play video games with you. Shit like that, bro. Y'all be having these unrealistic expectations for women. Like what a woman, you know, what you want in a woman. And it, it, you're never going to get the perfect woman because the only perfect woman in your life is your mom's so or the lady that takes care of you. That's the only perfect woman in your life. You're never going to find a perfect woman. That will, you know, love you like your mom and compromise and shit like that. But that's not about that. We talking about, like, looks and what you want in a woman. With a woman, you got to find, like, you got to find, you can't, you can't find a woman that has everything that you like. Like, everything that you want in a woman. Because that's just an unrealistic goal. Same as a woman can't find everything she wants in a man. Sometimes you're going to have to compromise for that for the greater good. Because maybe that person's a good person. And they just don't like video games or maybe that person, you know, she likes what you like. You know, she likes video games and shit, but she ain't thick in the waist and she ain't thick in the chest. You know, it's shit like that, bro. It's just like instead of trying to build a bitch, how about you just try to find a good woman? Like you don't have to have this ex an unbelievable expectation in women. Like, you can want a thick bitch. You can want... I'm not saying that. You can want a bitch that likes video games. You can like a bitch that has similar interests. But you can't expect a, um, these bitches out here to have, you know, the exact same taste as you. Because that's kind of sus. Because you're trying to have, find the, the female version of yourself. And that's, you know... Yeah. So, um... <laughs> that's that. Just have realistic expectations with these women, bro. And... When you do find a good woman, don't try to fucking push your shit onto her. Like, you know, because she's going she's gonna to have some shit that you don't like. And you're going to have some shit that she don't like. And y'all just going to have to compromise with that shit at the end of the day. Because if, if y'all don't, you know, compromise at least on some things, it's just not going to work. Because y'all just going to be bun heads all the time. Next point. Uh, let's see what I want to say. Let's see what I want to say. Because I, I could, ooh, fuck, I can literally make a 30-minute video right now. Um... Not letting these women disrespect you, bro. Um, some of these women, man, be out of pocket just thinking they can just go around and disrespect these niggas, bro. Because one day they're going to disrespect the wrong nigga and get hit in the fucking chest. But that's that's not you, bro. You're not going to hit a bitch in the chest. I'm not endorsing hitting bitches in the chest. 
sometimes but you know <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding i need to get that ad revenue but um you just can't let a woman disrespect you like y'all can play around and shit like that y'all know y'all can call each other names from time to time like fucking around and shit but if you have a woman that is constantly bitching you out 24 7 no matter who you're in front of no matter it could be your mama it could be your niggas it could be your daddy it could be your grandma it could be her friends lower help is if it's around her friends and she just disrespects you constantly and shit like that you don't you don't want that like you're gonna look like a little cuck i don't can i say these words on youtube hold on here It seems like my radar said I can't say these words on YouTube, so let me let me reel it back in. So, um, <laughs> uh, you just gonna look really, really like you just gonna look like a bitch. You gonna look like a pussy whip bitch made ass nigga if you just let these women disrespect you all the time, especially if you keep on going back. That's the thing that y'all niggas need to stop doing is going back to these toxic ass women, bro, because they got nothing for you but pussy. If that, that's it. Because with most of these toxic women, their mindset is to have a main nigga and some side niggas too. And they all say, I love you to her. Because that's all she needs. Because most of these toxic women out here are fatherless bitches who never got over the fact that, you know, maybe that my, oh, my dad was a piece of shit. But these other men may actually be something. They never got over that. And they just seek constant validation. That's it with these toxic women, bro. They're, they have no father figure. They have never had anyone tell them that all men ain't shit. And they just need validation. That's it. And I can assure you, I don't care what you say. I don't care what you do. You're not changing my mind with these toxic bitches. That's their mindset. Putting y'all niggas on game. <laughs> so, don't fall for a toxic bitch that's just going to disrespect you, bro. Like, I get, you know, she may be your crush. She may be what you're looking for in a woman. But if you ain't going to have a woman that's going to respect you, then you need to fucking hop out the door before, you know, you get that reputation of being a little bitch. Damn, this video is going to not get monetized when I get my fucking monetization hours up. But oh, well, y'all niggas need to hear this shit. Um, what else? Um, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. I don't have a script, script, script. <laughs> Being okay when a woman says no. Because some of y'all niggas be crying hard as hell when a woman says no. Or she just rejects you or some shit. Like, that shit's... And not even that. Let me let me, let me, let me, let me rewind it back. Y'all niggas be getting upset. And then y'all be talk, start talking shit on her name for no reason. Like, y'all just can't be friends. I don't understand why niggas just have this mindset where they just can't be friends with a female. Like... It's, it's possible to, like, be friends with a female and not, like, fuck. Y'all know that that's right. Like, not every woman is into friends with benefits type thing. Like, some women just want to be friends. And some of y'all niggas be taking that shit to heart. Like, oh, man, she put me in the friend zone. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's, it's just she just don't want to be with you, bro. It's not that you're in the friend zone. Because these niggas, y'all have misconceptions about the friend zone, too. Like, god damn, bro. I need to make more videos on this shit to explain what I mean. But y'all niggas be thinking once y'all in the friend zone, bro, there's nothing else you can do. Because, you know, oh, man, I can't date her. Oh, man. Oh. I, like, y'all don't, niggas don't think. Even if she say no, she just want to be friends. Why not try to build a relationship with her and maybe see what happens in the future? Instead of going off, blocking her, storming her, being mad, trashing on her name and shit. And now once that shit get back to her, she don't want nothing to do with you. Even if you had a chance to get with that woman after she said, nah, I just want to be friends. You definitely don't even have a chance to be friends now. Because y'all niggas went off on a tangent. Y'all niggas tried to cry to that bitch. Y'all niggas thought y'all were Usher. And y'all were going to sing and serenade that bitch back. Like, y'all got to respect these bitches' boundaries, bro. Because y'all never know what can happen in the future. When these bitches say, just let's be friends, that's the time where you know be friends and if you can attempt to build a relationship a connection with that person because you never know what's going to happen because the friend zone don't even exist bro only weak niggas believe in the friend zone if you a weak nigga you believe in the friend zone and if you vice versa nigga i don't know what i'm fucking saying i'm speaking from the heart right now so 
you know, it's okay to be friends with a bitch. And if she says no, don't be wallowing in bed. Don't be listening to sad music. Because all this shit's going to do is make you even sadder. If she says no, she just says no. Like, y'all be acting like one bitch is the end all be all of bitches. Like, that's just not how it is. Like, y'all see, y'all see, y'all, y'all just don't understand. There's millions, billions of these bitches out here, bro. Billions. That's only one person you're upset about. What you may need to do is just find someone else. And that's okay to do is to find someone else. What else can I say? Let me actually bridge this into my other topic. Knowing when it's time to quit. When you're texting a woman five times before she texts you back and it's not like telling a story or like you're like, you know, you made a mistake. Not even making mistakes. I don't see how you mess up a word four or five times. And if you're just texting her, hey, 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 what you doing? What you doing? Good morning. Good night. Hey, hey. I'm talking about that shit. If you're texting a woman like that and she's just ignoring you and you keep on trying over and over again, bro, to like get in and just like, you know, have a conversation, just, you know, leave. It's okay. She's, it, you're, she's just not interested in you and you just don't have to take that shit personal. You can just say, I, right. if it's on Snapchat, unfriend that bitch. If it's on Instagram, delete those messages so you can save your dignity and pride. Delete the chat. Keep on trucking, bro. Cause like I said, y'all y'all find one bitch and put all your eggs in one basket for that bitch. Y'all y'all see one bitch y'all want one, not one, not one, not two, not not me, not two, not three, not four. Y'all put y'all eggs in one fucking basket, and then y'all get mad when y'all look. Like, oh, that's the only girl that wanted me, nigga. You didn't even look, like. <laughs> Like, y'all be just focused on one bitch and instead of just like, you know what, man? I'm single. Uh, I can talk to whoever I want, whenever I want. And y'all just put yourself in a box and just talk to only one woman. Nigga, you're in a one-sided relationship. Like, the fuck? Like, y'all, you just only talk to one person? Like, it's, it's okay. Boys and girls, bro. Y'all niggas ain't no hoes. Y'all bitches ain't no hoes for talking to more than one nigga at a time. Especially if you're single. If you're in a relationship, then that's different. Both of y'all niggas hoes. Men and women. Don't forget, men and women can be hoes too. But if y'all are single and you want to talk to somebody, go for it. It don't matter how many people it is. It don't matter who it is. You, you gay, you bisexual. You want to talk to both genders, bro. Let me not say both genders for someone coming to my video and explain the other 72 in them bitches, bro. I don't give no fuck. But, you know, it's okay. Just don't put your eggs in one basket and then get upset when all your shit break because, you know, she don't reply to you or it didn't work out. Like, it's... It's just, what's it called? Like, y'all just see bitch, one bitch, just the one end all be all. And then y'all get sad, y'all get mad. And let me tell y'all what to do. The best remedy for a broken heart ain't no fool. It ain't more bitches. It's your niggas, dude. Like, and girls, if you still watching this video fucking 13, 14 minutes in, go hang out with your bitches. Go hang out with your niggas. I get it's quarantine, not even quarantine, COVID still around. If you got a game, you got Xbox, you got PlayStation, Switch, PC, Discord, Instagram, Snapchat. Y'all got all these means to talk with your niggas, bro. Because I promise you, once you start talking and laughing with your niggas, all your problems going to go away. Even if it is temporary, it's more healthier than just sitting in bed and wallowing in sadness. I can tell you that for sure. Because there's been times where I got my heart broken by one bitch because I used to be like, put all my eggs in one basket and talk to only one bitch at a time. And I would get hurt. I would sit in bed. I would ignore party invites. I wouldn't text nobody. I wouldn't talk to nobody. I'd sit in my bed and cry like a bitch. Well, I wouldn't cry. It took me a while to cry. I didn't fucking cry. It fucking, oof, it took me, ooh, it took me a while to cry. But what's it called? Don't wallow in your own sadness, bro, because no one's going to feel sorry for you. Especially over a man or a woman. Ain't no one gonna feel sorry for you because you got your heart broke. Like when you want to in a relationship. Like you can talk to your niggas about it and be like, yeah man, she won for me. You know, we just didn't we just didn't click. We just, you know, 
we just she didn't stop talking to me or she didn't want me shit like that if you tell your nigga shit like that they'll understand and then they'll invite you to a game and tell you to stop being a bitch <laughs> but y'all just can't be wallowing in your own sadness man that shit does nothing but regress and speaking of regress let's talk about making progress um sometimes i be seeing niggas be like man i can't get the the bitch i want so i'm gonna lower my standards no no little nigga don't do that don't lower your standards for anybody it don't matter who it is i don't care if fucking let me think of a bad bitch fucking oh i don't care if scarlett johansson came up to my black ass and been like lower your standards for a little for me bro or had to lower my standards to be with her nah write this down bro or listen to this shit don't lower your standards for a bitch raise the standards for yourself let me say it one more time don't lower the standards don't lower your standards for a bitch raise the standards for yourself keep yourself clean eat right do right you know what i mean get your mind right read a book goddamn get some knowledge get a skill do something that will raise the quality of your life and the standards you accept in your own life and i promise you these bitches start paying attention because they see that you taking care of yourself you eating right you taking showers every day you keep your face clean your neck ain't dirty ain't no shit under your nails you're dressing clean your clothes ain't smelling you're looking good you're learning you're keeping yourself active and not only you're keeping yourself active you're keeping your mind active and shit they're gonna see that and sometimes that's enough game that you need even though you do need game to talk to females like don't ever think that you can woo a bitch well you can woo a bitch let's don't think you can ever woo a woman with just you know looking good that that ain't gonna work but you know just raise the standard for yourself and once you start raising the standard for yourself your confidence will skyrocket i used to be so fucking timid in high school like if i was the person who i am now in high school god damn bro the possibilities are endless my mindset from high school to now has changed so drastically because i started you know i started taking care of myself more often uh you know i just started taking care of myself and getting shit done doing like getting into my goals and aspirations because what's it called it's just it's a mindset thing at the end of the day it's a mindset thing and if i was the person who i am now in high school bro my possibilities would be endless like literally i'm i'm a ball of ideas i'm a talkative person i like to have fun i'm confident I, I say what I want to say and I don't know disrespectful shit it's just I ain't shy enough to tell a bitch like hey you know I like you little pretty I want to talk to you none of that like you know I never used to want to go out now I'm wanting, I'm wanting to go out all the time like I'm going out soon like I make plans and shit now that's some shit I never do in high school because I didn't have a car and two I, I just believe that no one wanted to be around me like I said it's a mindset thing man once you once you raise the standards for yourself, your confidence is going to go up, man. And your mindset will have your mindset will change. You're gonna to have to change your mindset and your outlook, you know, if you want to have that confidence. Because you can't you can't do the steps I just told you of you know taking care of yourself and looking good, feeling good, getting your mind right, getting your body right, shit like that. And we're getting your body right if you just have like a a problem, like you know, with gaining weight, losing weight, it is what it is. Like that's control what you can't control that's all i can say control what you can't control if it's out of your control leave it be it, it is what it is but you just have to have a better mindset with how you live life and that will definitely help when you approach these women because if you go to a woman with this mindset like oh no what if i get rejected what if she laugh at me what if she tell her friends you know what if she do this what if she do that this that and the third you're never going to get where you want to be because you're always going to be in that little shell that, you know, maybe she don't want me. Maybe this, maybe that. I mean, you just can't be scared of rejection. If you gonna go, if you want to go talk to a woman, you pull up on her, keep your chin up like it's picture day and talk to her, bro. If she ain't interested, bro, it is what it is. Walk away, man. If she don't want you, she just don't want you, man. And it's not the end of the world. Like I said, there's millions and billions of these bitches out here, bro. It's not the end of the world if one don't want you. So, you know, when you want to talk to a bitch, bro, 
when you making that progress and when you see progress being made and you're ready to talk to that bitch and shoot your shot, be confident with it, man. And if you miss, oh well. Steph Curry, Damian Lillard, Clay Thompson, Ray Allen, best three point shooters in the league, but they don't they don't hit 100% of the time. Never, you're never gonna hit 100% of the time. But the more you talk to these women, the more confident you're gonna get. And the more confident you're gonna get, the more bold you're gonna get. And the more bold you're gonna get, possibilities are endless. It's just that you have to take the steps within yourself to build yourself up. I hope listen to what I said, even though this advice was really rambly, take something from it. If you take anything from this, um, just don't let a woman disrespect you. Um, keep your standards high and just be confident in what you can control and what you can and cannot do. I mean, what you can do. You just gotta be, you just gotta have that energy where you just that top nigga, no matter who you're around. And once you get that confident, possibilities are endless. And maybe, just maybe, bro, you won't be as down bad as some of these niggas are on Twitter. But that's my video. That's a long ass video I mean, It's gonna be hell to fucking render and edit. But it is what it is, man. Like I said, I hope all y'all niggas take care of yourself, for real. Like, you know, I, I get with this quarantine shit, this COVID shit. Niggas, you know, y'all be, y'all be just letting shit go. You know, take care of yourself, man. Take care of the people around you, especially your niggas, bro. Man, you ain't gonna have no other love like your niggas sometimes. And yeah, you know, good luck. If you need me, my DMs are open. Y'all niggas know my Instagram, both my Instagrams. I think you can DM me on YouTube, unless I took that feature away, which I think they did. But if you need someone to talk to, I'm here. It don't matter to me. We could talk on the phone if you need to. Just, you know, don't think that no one doesn't care. I care. So, you know, with that, I'll see y'all niggas later. Y'all niggas take it easy. Have a good morning, evening, afternoon, or night, wherever the fuck y'all niggas are. And peace.